What is going on guys? Today we've got a brand new video with the Off-Road Mazda 3. Today we're going to be continuing with the DIY interior stuff that we have been doing. You guys seem to enjoy it, so I figured let's keep doing more. So before we start off today's video, um, I'm going to ask you guys what else do you guys want to see me do in the interior DIY? Because today we're going to be doing these doors. We're going to be doing a DIY instead of doing the custom wrapping like with fabric like I normally do. Like on my other Mazda 3, we're going to be painting these and see if we can get a different result. And then I do have a video planned for next video that you guys probably really like, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but it has to do with the interior and DIY painting stuff again. I know it's kind of weird painting stuff, but there's actually some really cool ideas. Once this interior is done, since we just did the headliner, it turned out pretty good. So what we're gonna be doing today is painting these door cards. Now these are actually out of a Mazda Speed 3 in 07 um, and 08. They came with the gray and then the 08.5s and the 9s came with the black. Normally I like to wrap these, but I actually thought, you know, this design's actually pretty cool and it got some texture to it. Paint it black and see what it looks like, which should go with these fabric pieces. And uh, we're gonna see how it looks. So without further ado, let's get into it. So because some of you guys don't know how to take off your door cards, to make this easier, so if you guys are doing this with any brand or whatever, there's different ways that you can do this. Um, you can obviously leave the door on the car, mask everything off, but then you gotta secure the door and everything so you don't get overspray and everything. So this, I believe it's, this bottom piece separates from this piece. So all we'd have to do is pretty much mask off this top piece and a bit of the surrounding stuff. It'll make it for a good result because then we can paint under and just kind of, we can, we can go with it, we'll go with it. So um, there's a little holder thing right here and then inside the door, there's a little cap. Fill up one. And fill up two. Go ahead, pop that out. Your clip holding it in, push that in pops right out. Now we're gonna pop the door skin off. Window down is the best way to do this. So grab one of the sides, grab a trim popping tool or something, just kind of like this. Keep going all the way around. Slide it right off. All you need to do is push and pull that one out and then go ahead and just like that, the door skin's off. Take these out if they're broken, get new ones. These help your door from rattling, so pull them all off, and if you can put them back in the door, put them back in. These do split in half, so if you guys take a look at the door, there's bolts that go all the way along, and you can see the outline. So we're gonna take these Phillips, go ahead and remove all of these. And now that you've taken them all out, this is a little bit tricky, so there's a pin right here, so you gotta like, just do that. <laughs> Unfortunately, these two pieces are together and you can't take them off. So we need to mask to the best of our ability all the way around. Now we've completed masking this. When it comes to down here, make sure it's pinched in well so you can get the top layer of the fabric. Worst case scenario, because this is a matte black vinyl spray, this is also matte black too. So if you accidentally get some on surface, then it won't be too noticeable, especially because this is a little tucked in. So unless you're like looking at it from this angle. So let's go ahead and start painting. So I'm gonna be using Dupacolor vinyl and fabric spray paint like I did last time. This stuff looks really good, especially on the vinyl. We're gonna be using it for the fabric portion. Because this is fabric, it does take a little bit more, so I do have two and a half cans of the stuff, and I'll let you know if I need any more. So pretty straightforward. You just spray it on, just like spray paint. Now you might wanna mask off this a little bit better. Make sure to get it from the top angle. You can also lift it up here too if you need to. And for first coat, I'd say that almost looks done. <laughs> you can obviously, so all these little dots, actually black dots, they're not like poke through. So once it all kind of blends out, then we know this is actually black. So we'll let it dry. I'm gonna go work on the other doors and then we'll get it done. Friends, we're gonna hit this uh, door panel up with the second coat here. We're gonna do a little bit of a thicker all the way across. And now you can't really tell, but this is a little bit darker 
the mount. We're gonna hit this one with our third coat and I feel like three should be enough. Because if I look at this right now, this looks the same as that, and that just got its second coat. So I don't think we can go any darker than that. This stuff covers up pretty easily, so. All right, guys, so here is one of the pieces, all done. I did a quick spray just to make sure it was all black, which it is. So this is three thick coat. Now what I want to do is take off the masking tape and uh, see how well I did. And just like that, pretty good. So uh, you can see, like a tad little bit of gray in there. I can't notice that. Obviously you can see like if you really really look in there and then a little bit of gray right here but nothing to notice. So without further ado this is what your door skin is going to look like. So what we can do now is uh, I'm just going to let it sit for finish the other ones and then I'll kind of go one by one put them back together put them back in the car. She meant Pam. Not bad at all. Let's go put it on. So if you guys are putting these back on the massive threes go ahead first things first you Plug in your little plug. Now the biggest thing is this, make sure you run this through. Because if you forget about it, you're gonna be taking this back off. There's a lip right here, those have to go over it. And that's why we keep the window open. So if you kind of grab it, you can pry that over and then you kind of just push that in and you go bing, bing, bing. And there's your new door. So now we can go ahead, lightly push in, grab that. Run that through, hold that. Just like you never took it off. Does that look compared to the gray that used to be on there? Mads the speed guys, first gen guys, hit this up. That's huge, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The product is done. All four doors are in. So we are gonna take a look at these outside in the sun. Got a beautiful day out, clear skies, no smoke, rain this morning, nice temperature, it's like 16 degrees. I got shot something to show you. Here you guys have it. The new door cards used to be gray and now they black. And so if we take a look at these, if you hit it off and then boom, Boom! Everything's blending together well. These look awesome and I think it, I, I actually really like how this looks like. When I get my next speed, if it's an 07 or an 08, I'm dead ass, I will paint these. Cause the thing is, is like I said, this was gray, but there's like black dots that make it look like it's like there's holes, but the black dots stay dominant even though you spray paint it over this. So you still have that black dot texture. I really like how this looks. This turned out fantastic. I mean, overall, just a great improvement to the whole, like I said, the whole black headliner thing that we got going on in here. So with that being said, that is done for this part. We still have some more interior stuff to go through. So if you guys want to see any more interior stuff in here, let me know. There is actually something I've done because this is recorded the next day. If you guys can see it, keep it a secret. What I'm thinking, so if you guys know the GT model, this piece and this piece are actually piano black as well. So I'm thinking, what if we can't like do the gloss, the gloss black and see if I can do the gloss black on this and then we can have a replica. You guys will understand more what I mean in the black that I'm talking about because the next video that's going to be uploaded, we got more interior stuff. And like I said, it's already in the car, only if you noticed it. But other than that guys, that's the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like on the video, comment down below and turn on post notifications so you know when I'm uploading the next video in the beautiful storyline of the off-road Mazda 3. Other than that guys, keep it real. I'll see y'all in the next one.